Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. Part 3 of Translating Assembly Language Instructions to Machine Code, we're going to do our Shift Right Logical. It is an R-type instruction. Uh, however, we will notice here that instead of three registers, it has only two, again, which makes it a little bit tricky. Now, the opcode for the R-type instructions are as this. It says the RS, the RT, and the RD. But now let's go down and look at our uh, Shift Right Logical Instructions and uh, right there it is shift right logical and you'll notice that we have an RD register and we have an RT register well, let's go ahead and put that in here we have an RD and an RT now you'll notice that we're missing the RS instruction but in an R type uh, instruction there is a place for it well, what we do in that case is if we don't need something we set it all to zeros so that one is actually going to be all zeros instructions so that one's the zeros then we have the RT and then the RD and the shift amount all right well now let's go back up and do our instructions all right so here we have this we have the opcode the opcode for the shift right logical I should show you that before I went to it is all zeros it's an add instruction all right so it's all zeros. Right? So it's all zeros. Just like an add. One, two, three, four, five, six. The RS instructions, we don't have it, so it is all zeros. Five zeros. Now the uh, RT in, uh, register is S2. It's 18, as we can see from up there. So that's one, zero, zero, one, zero. And then the destination register is. Uh, 17, which is, uh, you know, 10001. The shift amount is 12. Uh, the 5-bit uh, uh, version of that is 01100. Look it up. And then the function field. Let's go down and find the function field. Okay. The function field in the shift right logical is 40 followed by 10. Okay. Okay. Four zeros. One, two, three, four, one, zero. There's six. Well, let's put those in. Okay, here we are. We have uh, zero. There's six. The um, RS register are all zeros. The RT register is 18. It is one, zero, zero, one, zero. The uh, RD register is 17. The shift amount is uh, 12, which is uh, 0. Oops. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. And then the function field is four zeros followed by a 1 and then a 0. Let us translate that into hex code. Again, use the table at the bottom if you need to. That is a 0. That's also a zero. That's a one. That's a two. That four bit right there is eight. Um, this one's tricky. This is one more than ten. That's a. So that would be a B. And that is uh, uh, zero. And that is two. All right. And again, I've looked at the answers that I've done before, and that is a correct uh, translation of that instruction. Again, the tricky part. The tricky part on this one, the shift right logical, or actually the shift right logical and the shift left logical work the same way. Um, you have um, two registers and an immediate field or shift amount field. Now, one other note, and I'll, I'll mention this about the uh, other instructions. The uh, shift left logical variable you will see has all three registers, and in that particular case, you would actually have. Uh, the RS register, the RT, and the RD register. There would be no shift amount because the shift amount is in the RS register. 
All right, well, very good. Well, this uh, concludes our short demonstration of how to translate assembly language instructions into machine code. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to doing another video for you. Have a good day.